All right, well, there, I'm sure there's lots of meat for the papers to get their teeth into this morning. I'm sure for more, I'm joined now by Aurore Dupuis. How are the papers looking today? I guess it's uh, probably on the front pages of every French newspaper this morning. Exactly, it is. Let's take, let's take a look at the left-wing newspaper, Libération, le jour de gauche, the day for the left. As you can see, an entire page, all in pink. That's the colour of the left-wing party here in France. And you can notice there a tiny little rip <laughs> in blue, coloured in blue. That's for the Alsace region. It's the only region that the UN has actually won in these regional elections. Let's take a look at the communist newspaper now, L'Humanité, rejection. And you can see quite a striking photo there of a shattered picture of the French president, Nicolas Sarkozy. Um, we can also take a look at Aujourd'hui en France, and you can see a triumphant picture of the socialist leader, Martino Aubry, looking smiling. The return of the left, says the newspaper. Now, according to Aujourd'hui en France, a majority of the people now want a change of government after uh, these regional elections. Uh, let's take a look now at uh, the um, international press. Let's okay. move on to the Huffington Post. Um, it says that the results show a rough road ahead for Nicolas Sarkozy, who's becoming more and more isolated. Now, according to the blog, Sarkozy will face a national strike on Tuesday. That's tomorrow. Uh, you know, train drivers angry over pension reforms, uh, teachers angry over job cuts. So that's worrying, according to the blog, because Sarkozy is seeking, as you know, to be re-elected in the presidential election in 2012, and it sh this defeat could mean that um, it might affect his goal. Um, let's move on now to the New York Times. Uh, so that says that despite his defeat at home, Sarkozy is doing well on the international scene. He's, he's vowed to make progress on climate change and his country will also uh, take over the chairmanship of the G20 next year. So the New York Times says that if, if he performs well in these jobs, then it, could, it means he could reposition himself in the 2012 presidential elections. OK, is that all we've got time for? We have some cartoons, do we? Yes, exactly. Some, just one more cartoon uh, in the American Monthly Review. Uh, now you can see a so-called guide to these regional elections. The first round here, you can see one black eye for Nicolas Sarkozy and the second round, two black eyes for Nicolas Sarkozy. So quite an it ironic take. It all up, doesn't it? OK, exactly. Aurore Dupree, thank you very much indeed.